there guys welcome back to the channel thanks very much for joining us again today we've got a very short video tutorial for you today that'll show you how to use weebly for online course memberships so you know if you're looking to set up a website for online courses or like a membership based system where you want to sort of charge people for access to your course or anything like that you can do so with weebly uh, fairly easily um, so when you first join Weebly, you'll need a trial version of it. And lucky for you that there is one available in the link in the description for this video just down below. So if you click that link, that will take you then straight through to a free version of Weebly. And then once you sign in uh, for free with an email, this page will appear. Um, so this is the kind of initial wizard and initial website building um accompaniment that will appear and if you hit then um just i i just need a website okay so that will be uh, more than ample what i recommend then is browsing the templates that they've got available and finding one that's kind of closest to what you want yours to look like um so you can modify them you can change to another template or theme as they're they're referred to as in weebly um after the fact um so you know you don't have to be kind of locked into it for now but say if we were doing a cooking course and it happened to be burgers it's convenient for us that that template exists so when we hit the little template select start editing in the top right hand corner and then you could sort of um you know that literally just launches the website editor you'll see in a second when it does open that it first prompts us to kind of you know link it to a url which is something i definitely recommend if you were doing an online course is to kind of buy a URL from a domain provider and link it to this and you can run this wizard you know afterwards you can access it through the settings menu um, which you can see just at the top here however you know if you're charging people for an online course you don't want to be charging them on a free you know website building URL you'd, you'd want to look at least a little bit legitimate and, and have bought and invested in a URL from a, a custom domain provider, okay? So um, so if you haven't done so already, you know, you can run that wizard again by going to settings and then hitting change there on site address. Now, you know, I'm not gonna go into specifically how to build a website in this tutorial. There's other tutorials on this very channel specific on how to do that. Um, but once you've got your, um, sort of initial home page fleshed out and um, you've got the kind of basic public website built um, it'll be a case then of adding members only pages and that's where you'd house your course content um, so say for example that you know this menu um, page the about page and the locations for example was the public facing um, pages that we needed if you wanted then to add you know some of the course content for example that you'd want to provide you'd you know make a new page and flesh that out with the content that you'd want to provide people and then when it comes to hiding it from the public and only making it accessible behind a paywall then you'd go to visibility when you've got that page selected so again in pages and you've got the page selected visibility and then instead of public have it members or groups okay so that would then allow you as the administrator for that website to determine you know who gets access to it um so if give me a second and i go back to a website that i've got um but basically, you know, that that's how you'd kind of construct it is you, you'd go and um, create pages and make them visible to only, you know, members of your website. And then to become a member, you'd, you'd give, you know, the entry requirement of paying. Uh, so that's how you'd kind of set it up as a basic kind of principle, really. Um, so if you give me a second, I'll go. And then, you know, as you can see, and yeah, you know, you could... Um, think about then if you've got a youtube channel set up i'd probably house the content for the course you know on youtube and make them private videos uh, so not publicly listed and then you could just either embed those videos you know or link them somehow to these these pages that you'd have behind that paywall so if for example that you know um you've got some sort of content on youtube um, you would go to that video, copy the embed code, which you access from the share button, and then drag one of these embed code boxes onto your website, and uh, wherever that appears, there. 
and then edit custom HTML, paste that code in there, and the video would appear, you know? So you, you'd sort of um, create pages, like I said, that are visible for members of your site only, okay? So, and, and that's kind of how you'd structure it, and then for, you know, specific tutorials on how to design pages and how to do specific things in Weebly, you can check them out on the channel as well. So if you want to give it all a go, it's obviously it's just time invested that you're going to learn all this with, click the link in the description down below and that will allow you to try it out all for free. Um, if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, you can leave them as comments down below. And if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much.